Hello, I'm Leonardo Blake, I'm 61 years old, and I'm a homosexual. Was that alright? A pregnant woman thinks she is going to have a girl and buys clothes. I only study him. A pregnant woman thinks she is going to have a girl and buys all the clothes for a little boy. That's wrong. Fuck. Right, we need to read this. A pregnant woman thinks she is going to have a girl and buys all the clothes, only to find out it is not a little girl, but a little boy. Oh no! This was this simply sparked my excitement and curiosity. Start that again. Start that again. Oh no! It's changing. It's changing. It's changing. Oh no! This simply sparked the my excitement. Oh no! Start again. Oh no! This simply sparked my excitement and curiosity, which would bring shame on your family and could even mean a prison sentence. I can't see the script. I'm sorry, I can't see the script. Um, I knew a boy who slept in my dorm who stuck out during the night to meet another boy. I knew a boy in my dorm who snuck out one night to go and sleep with another boy. This was a time before the makeup and the flamboyancy dress and the f uh. This was a time before the makeup and the flamboyant dress. In school we slept in dorms, so if you wanted to get more intimate, you would have to choose the If you'd like to get more intimate, a broom cupboard or a classroom would have to suffice. We surrounded our school. We found a nice secluded seclu We found a nice secluded spot. As I've said before, I love the world of fantasy. I, as I said before, I love the world of fantasy. And this was it. And so I left in 1973. Me and Thomas went into the woods at least every week. Uh, I'll change that. And so I left in 1973. Me and Thomas went into the woods many times. Oh. Scrap that, start again. And so I left in 1973, me and Thomas ventured into the woods at least once a week. I fell in love with this gorgeous jock. I was very excited and felt ecstatic, of course, of cow... Start again. I was very excited and felt ecstatic, of course, Oh, I was very excited and felt ecstatic. Of course, I could not show this. My father was shouting at the TV homophobic profanities such as puff and fags. I partied in my room and was happy. What was that saying? Sorry. And I was happy in the fact of knowing I could no longer be arrested for being who I was. I was 12 years old at the time. You may think this was too young, too old. I was 12 years old at the time. You may think this was too old to be playing with cuddly toys. But I had nothing else to do and I still loved living in my own little world, away from society. I later found out that this bill did not make much difference to me. 
I later found out that this bill did not make much difference in regards to people's attitudes towards homosexuals. They still spat at us in the street and shouted homopho uh, and shouted homophobic uh, and shouted homophobic profanities at us. I later found it uh, into society. No, reading ahead, sorry. After hearing the fabulous news of gay liberation, allowed to let me. After hearing the fabulous news of gay liberation, I later found out it did not apply to me. I, <clears throat> I only went with men of the same age. I only went with men of the same age. It was not until I was 21, as the law dictated, I went with older men. It was also the year that gender reckon... No. It was also in this year that the Gender Recognition Act was passed, which was nice to know that I could now legally change my sex. Although I was a fem... Uh, uh, although I was an effeminate homosexual, I had no wish to become female, but that does not mean it was not nice to hear I could be. Mm. I have been with a gorgeous man now for 15 years, before I entered into a civil partnership with him. Uh, that's wrong. Oh yes, I had been with this gorgeous man for 15 years before I entered into a civil partnership with him. His name was Theodore Alexandra. He was the owner of the Banbury Players Theatre in Banbury, in Nottinghamshire. But do that again, do that again, again. He was the owner of the Banbury Players Theatre in Banbury in Nottinghamshire, called an Inspector Calls. I was playing the role. I was playing the role. Uh, I was playing the role of Inspector Ghoul. Was that all right? Central shot. Of course not. Why should I hide who I am? But I would not dare turn up to work looking like this. Like this? I would be penniless. The year was 1973 and I had found employment at a little corner shop on the corner of Devonshire Street. Blah, do that again. The year was 1973 and I found employment in a little corner shop on the corner of Devonshire Street in Malibourne. Or the Devon... Start the whole thing again, whole thing again. In 1973 and I found employment in a little corner shop on the corner of Devonshire Street in Malibourne. Whilst living with Mr Pembroke... Mrs Pembroke... Whilst living with Mrs Pembroke... I acquired a taste for the performing arts. I auditioned and they loved me. I'll do that again, do that again. I auditioned and they loved me. I'll do that again. I auditioned and they loved me. And cast me in the role. I auditioned and they loved me. Blah, 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 blah. It was at this time that I left Wainwrights and worked full time at the theatre. Me and Adam came back to the, this club many times. I'll do that again. Me and Adam came back into the. Me and Adam came back to this club time and time again to see men in drag, which was not the answer he wished to hear, and smacked me around the free. Which is not the answer he wanted to hear, and he smacked me around the face, screaming, "You dirty pufter!" I wanted to buy a beautiful costume for my night with Sa well, I wanted to buy a beautiful costume to the game. I wanted to buy a beautiful costume to go out in with my the the game. I wanted to buy a beautiful costume for my night with Adam in Soho. I walked into the women's section and started to look around. 
It was at this time that I moved away from the classical and traditional theatre and moved... Blah, 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 blah. It was at this time that I moved away from classical and... It was at this time that I moved away from classical and traditional theatre. <laughs> Some might be horrified to think that Fagin and the Artful Dodger were fucking behind the scenes. <laughs> you have to remember that I just love... You have to remember that I've just lost the man I loved so truly. And blah. You have to remember that I just lost... You have to remember that I have just lost the man I loved truly because of makeup. Stayed in the Banbury Theatre until 1999. By this time I'd worked my way up and was a partner in the business with my life partner, Theo. Do that again, that was crap. By, by this time I'd worked my way up. Blah, 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 blah. By this time I'd worked my way up and was partner in the business with my life partner, Theo. I cannot tell you that. Let me do that again, do that again. Because you think funny. No. Taking pictures of me, I don't know why. Um, I cannot tell you that. Use the first one. Donbury Street, now Fairnilup. Back in the little village in... Back in the little village in Sussex, playing with Miss Bar... With Miss... Blah, blah, blah. Back in the in little village in Sussex, playing with Mrs. Banbury's children, I often played with blah, 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 blah. It's Barbary, Barbary, it's Barbary, Mrs. Barbary, 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 Mrs. Barbary. Where are we? Back in the little village, Robert to him, over to him, over to him, over to him. Partnerships were now legalised. I jumped at the chance to be a married man. Blah, blah. Do the whole thing again because it was shit. My life was fabulous, darling. <laughs> that's, that's shit. My life was fabulous, darling. That was crap. My life was fabulous, darling. <laughs> In all seriousness, it was amazing. My gorgeous Thomas who got me through my scolding day. My advice to you all would be to, to never... Do that again, because it's very important. My advice to you all would be to, to never... To, to never, to never. My advice to you all would be to never deny who you are. It's a new day, a new day.